Hello and welcome to Coffee with Carrie. Thank you for stopping by here today. I appreciate you being here. I'm Carrie. This is my channel for women over 50. Sometimes it's dating advice like it is today. Sometimes it's beauty, makeup, fashion, food, stuff like that. If you enjoyed this episode today, please think about subscribing to my channel and as always, I recommend hitting that ring bell so that you're notified every time a new episode is uploaded. Today, I wanted to talk about where the boys are, or rather, where the men are looking for you. This was something I was talking about with another matchmaker recently, and we were kind of chatting about where men think they're going to find all the women. So they're going to places looking for you, are you there or do you even know that's where the guys are waiting for you? <laughs> Stick around. That's If that's interesting, that's what we're talking about today. I think what the deal is, is that there are websites and news articles telling men that if they want to meet women, they should go to these places. Of course, some of them are obvious, but others, they're just, they're going because they think we're hanging out there. So I think maybe we should know where that is. So if we're looking, we could all be in the same place. That would be beneficial to starting the dating process, right? Number one is they think you are out with a friend having a drink and look hoping to meet a man. And I recommend if you do this, instead of just grabbing a drink with a friend, maybe you go where there's something else in it for you in case there aren't any men. So maybe go hear live music or go to a, where there's a night where there's something fun going on at the bar, karaoke or trivia or something you enjoy. If not, music would be kind of my thing. But they think you're out with, a, with friends at the bars having a drink and that's where they're showing up hoping to meet you. So if you're looking to meet fellas, that's the most common place they think you're hanging out. Number two, guys say that they are at the dog park, yes, for their dog and their dog's health, well-being and happiness. But also they're on the lookout for making a conversation with women at the dog park. So if you have a dog and you just happen to be walking your dog in the neighborhood around the block, you're getting tired of the same scenery with the dog, maybe the dog's getting tired of the same scenery, you may want to explore your local dog park because there are men there waiting for you. They think you're hanging out there and they're there waiting for you to show up so they can start a conversation with you and your dog so that your dogs can live happily ever after together, I suppose. So you may want to check out the dog park. Number three, where the boys, men are, classes, evening classes. They're taking some interesting classes as well. I'm sure women do the same exact thing, but they take classes that they think women will enroll in was what we were talking about. We've had this happen a couple times where I've said to a guy, oh, you're doing hot yoga, you love that. He goes, no, but I think there are women there who take that class that I might want to meet. Or I had a guy taking a cooking class. I'm like, oh, that's so great that you want to learn how to cook. He's like, I never make anything again. But my friend said that women take cooking classes at night and maybe I'd meet somebody awesome there with that same interest. And I'm thinking, was it even really your interest? Maybe he'd be better served by taking a class of something he was interested in. If you're going to take an evening class or a night class, make sure it's something you actually enjoy. In case you don't meet somebody, you get some value from it, I would think. Number four is probably places you are, but you may not be noticing people there because sometimes we're there for a purpose. And in the gym in particular, we think it's sort of creepy if people are talking to us while we're trying to exercise, right? So the gym would be one and the other one place out and about that men are looking to meet women would be like coffee shops. So. I guess what I wanted to say under this category is you probably are there. Look up, look around, because they're trying to talk to you there and they kind of know it's weird to approach women at a gym, but you could create a conversation if someone is walking out at the same time that you are or walking in or in between sets. Do you want to switching equipment and you're walking by? You can say, let me know when you're done with that one or that looks hard. I don't think I'm going to try that machine today. I don't feel like I'm up for it or, you know, start a conversation with somebody. They, most guys won't talk to you at the gym. They know that it's considered 
inappropriate, but if you want to do it, most guys are just going to be happy about it. So they're looking to meet us at the gym and the coffee shops. And if you are intrigued by that idea, you're going to have to probably allow yourself to start the conversation with them or at least let them know it's okay for them to talk to you there. The next one would be volunteering. This is what my, the gal, the other matchmaker was telling me that she's got a guy, he's, he's volunteering his time all over town and he's doing great for the community. I don't think he's met anybody he's really connected with, but he's working at the soup kitchen-ish thing, feeding you know people. He's working at the food pantry. He's working at a hospital, helping out with some of the older people. Volunteering is always a good thing for your soul and to make you feel good about yourself. And if you pay attention, there may actually be men there whose intention, at least part of their intention besides doing good, is to meet women who are like-minded and want to give up their time. So just look up, pay attention, see who's around you. And then number seven would be shopping. Guys always think that they're going to meet a woman in this grocery store in particular. And I have had men approach me and talk to me in department stores in the past. So they are not just browsing the merchandise, they are browsing the sections for women they can start a conversation with as well. And if you are not like me with your nose in the racks, or your phone in your racks and checking, you know, doing different things while you're shopping and you're more aware of your surroundings, you may just notice a man there trying to catch your eye. I've actually asked men to help me like figure out what size I needed. And I thought, wow, if the time I remember thinking, if I was single, this would be a great way to pe meet people. So be aware if some man says, oh, do you think your opinion on this if he mentions it's for his mother or his sister, he's probably trying to meet you. If he says it's for his wife or his girlfriend, you can take that as a sincere need of your help to figure out a size or color or needing your opinion. But if guys bring, come up to you and say, I this was thinking about getting this for my sister. Do you think this would be good for a redhead? Or, you know, you look like you're about the same size as my whatever. So. Be aware that men think they can meet women in stores and when you're looking for produce and you're filling your cart at the grocery store, scan the area quickly to see if there aren't any single men there whose true intention besides filling their refrigerator is to hopefully meet someone and fall in love. Because as long as you're there, you may as well talk to each other. Those are my seven for today. That's where the guys are hanging out, looking to meet women. You may want to also be there if you're looking to meet men. I appreciate you stopping by today to see what I wanted to talk about. I hope you will give this episode a thumbs up. Maybe hit that ring bell so you're notified every time I upload a new episode. And I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, thanks for being here today and have a good one.